Hello guys, welcome back to the Eternal Nalaitana and, and today we are going to not see about any concepts in video. We are just going to like, I am want to wish you guys because you completed the procedure oriented programming like procedure programming in C++ and further videos or in future videos we are going to continue a C++ tutorial on object oriented programming. So before entering into object oriented programming, first of all we need to check our what are the concepts we studied in past so uh, to like check our knowledge we need to take few tests okay about procedure programming in c++ so i have few questions for you to check your knowledge if you know the answers kindly find like write the program and type in the comment okay because it will help for the viewers and your help for other persons also so if you know the answer kindly type that in comment and check your knowledge by solving these problems so yeah guys and who are all following up to this video i will very thankful for you for following up to this video and kindly give a subscribe button and give like button i will also upload my college vlog when I entered into college after next month. So let's say enter into the problems and see what are the problems you are going to solve. And these are the practice questions on C++. The first concept that we saw in our C++ tutorial is variables and literals. So the first question is nothing but store two integers in two variables x and y print the product of the two okay i think you can understand the question so if you know the answer kindly type the answer in the comment okay like type the program and just send into the comment it will help for some other viewers so next concept is operators in operators like write a program to enter a four digit number from the keyboard okay and add eight to the number and then divide it by 3. Now the modulus of the number is taken with 5 and then multiply the resultant value by 5. Display the final result guys. This is kind of some kind of it's kind of seem complex for weaving but when you apply it and do in programming it will very very simple guys. It's kind of one line answer. So you can definitely try this question okay. This concept is operators. And the next is if else. In if else, we have we already solved so many problems and upload it in a source. So this is I think the same question. But just try guys, okay. Write a program to check whether a entered character is lowercase or uppercase. I think this kind of some easy question, but just try, okay. Next concept is loop. And this is the most famous concept for beginners in loops, okay? Print the following pattern using loop. These star patterns. You need to print these star patterns, okay? The next concept is function. By function, define a function that returns the product of two numbers entered by the user. Okay, I think you can understand the question. If you don't know or if you have some kind of doubt in these concepts, kindly check the video that is given in the description. I give a description in playlist like you can go and check. The next concept is array. In array, take 10 integer inputs from user and store them in an array and print them on screen. First, you need to take 10 integer from user and store that in a specific array that you already declared. And after that, you need to print them, like you need to display. The next concept is pointers. Write a program to print the address of the pointer to a variable whose value is input from the user. The value is input from the user and you need to display the address of that value. Next concept is string. So write a program to input and display the sentence I love candies. If you don't love, if you don't love candies, most of the people like candies. If you don't love, just change this name, okay? Like 
instead of candies you can add some others names i don't know no, not some others name just some kind of other things names okay i love programming like that you can also add so these are the questions i have given you guys if you know the answer or if you can able to program just program it and send the code in comment section so the other viewers can also read so kindly subscribe our channel and we are going to continue i think we are going to start python in this channel from i think from next week on uh, monday onwards so kindly keep supporting our guys bye bye see you in the next video